I thought that was Lawrence. Hashtag awkward. There he is. <laughs> So we have just been in and got our oh, media passes. I'm very excited. The, um, we're just heading over to the parking now. So this is day one of the show, Lawrence. Day one. We've never been here before. We did check um, and they told us all about the COVID stuff. I know people, well, we were worried about the COVID, uh, but they've spent yesterday, it was meant to start yesterday, but they closed the whole show down. Uh, yesterday uh, just to make sure that everyone is completely prepared against COVID so it's obviously all the normal stuff like um, masks wearing masks and we've got a free little hand sanitizer we've got free hand sanitizer they're uh, restricting the amount of people who can go into RVs they're sanitizing all the RVs after people have been in there so it looks like they've done a lot for it so I feel a little bit better about that um, and obviously I think they've restricted numbers and a lot of vendors didn't turn up because of COVID. So I'm interested to see how this works, but I'm a little bit happy after talking to her about that. So this is exciting. We got media passes. Yeah. How cool is that? I'm just going to walk around like this. The, <laughs> the nice thing about this is I don't know where the normal parking is, but we're right outside the entrance. So that's cool. We're so fancy with our media passes. We're kind of a big deal, Natalie. <laughs> Some steel drums here, it's live, cool. <laughs> Uncle Sam wants you to buy an RV today. <laughs> <laughs> he was really tall. Really tall. Lawrence has discovered a 4x4 four four van. He's very excited. <laughs> you have to really see it because it's an amazing, amazing vehicle. Okay. So again, something that we're probably never going to buy. <laughs> Natalie would if she had the choice, but these are when you're dead. four by four, <laughs> uh, what are they, class B campers. Yeah. Um, so this is really cool. So I remember the old ones, I remember they used to be in the UK, there used to be a transit van that was four by four, which was very popular with like builders and stuff. Yeah, so they get around like uh, building sites, but then they started making, and I think the uh, Volkswagen used to make a four by four camper and it looks like they're coming back. I haven't seen one for years. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't looked into it too much, but these are really cool. So they're four by four. They have all the utilities. I did ask about a bathroom because that always confuses me in these. Um, like, where is the bathroom? So they don't have a bathroom because no. you're probably going to be out in the middle of nowhere if True. you're buying a four by four camper. And if you're on the way there, then you can just use a rest area or service stations. But it does have a pull out shower. Ah. Because of COVID, we can't go in and have a look, but I did have a kind of look through the mesh, which is annoying because the camera does, just focuses on the mesh, so I can't even show you that. But uh, it's very cool. It looks really nice inside. Like, not for us, maybe. <laughs> if you leave me, I might get one, but, you know. <laughs> sorry, just... <laughs> sorry, when, not if. <laughs> anyway, I got free T-shirts, so I'm excited. That's all Natalie's happy about. You got two free T-shirts, <laughs> and I'm too fat, so they didn't have one in my size. <laughs> It vibrates, I didn't expect it. Oh, that's... oh the cushion? Yeah, the cushion. <laughs> oh, you have to... Ah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect it. <gasps> it does. <laughs> I know. You can't see our facial expressions. <laughs> I quite like this. Oh. So I have to admit, I bought the fancy truck and our truck's got this and it feels oh, very similar. It does, yeah. Well, that's us done for the day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at uh, the... Colonial Home Productions uh, <laughs> booth right now, and we'll probably be here for the next four days uh, just testing these cushions out. Just come by, say hello. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here. <laughs> Natalie is the only person who would want to buy wine at an RV show. <laughs> I will let you carry that. She other literally thing just smelt this place out. I'm not really sure how she just walked straight here to the wine counter, but well done, Natalie. We're at an RV show. Let's. <laughs> Although Natalie wants a class A, <coughs> the one problem we've found is there's no real bunk houses in there. We found some toy haulers that I could change into an office, but we don't want me working in the main area of the RV because then Natalie can't do anything. Yeah. So I'm worried that we're going to find one with a bunk house that I can use as an office and then Natalie's going to make me buy it. <laughs> so we're going to have a look around some of the class A's. Right, so unfortunately, <laughs> we found one, and this is the Fleetwood LXE 44B. Um, 
it's very brizzy, very popular. So we'll show you around the front in a minute, but it's the bunkhouse that we're looking at. Uh, not that we're gonna buy it. I don't know how much this is. $325,000. <laughs> we'll buy two. Sorry, three twenty five nine nine five. Is that show price? That's show price. Um, but so you have a rear bathroom here, which is all very nice. Natalie will get some B-roll to overlay this <laughs> because this isn't so pretty. And then we have a bunkhouse here, which don't panic. We're not having kids or anything. Um, I would rip all of this out and make it into an office. And I think it's doable. I mean, it's tight, but I could put a desk in here. It's a window. Uh, there's a window. So yeah, it would, uh, I think it would work. So if anyone wants to give us $325,995, we'll take it. So this was weird, here we were walking yeah. down, we came back to building B, if anyone knows where that is, and uh, it seems like there's a bit of a YouTuber meetup going on here. <laughs> Look at all these guys. <laughs> so this was cool. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Michaels. Well, right. Callum's gonna be yeah. like me. He's in the ugly red hat. I can, I can, yeah. <laughs> they're big time. Because they live in Beverly. They're gonna be living in Beverly Hills. Soon. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. No videos. No videos. No videos here. I, I cleared it with your publicist. I paid the fee. I paid the fee. But you didn't clear it with his bodyguard. <laughs> like the uh, King Ranch with the it brown. <laughs> so it's gonna be on the more expensive side, I'm guessing. So this is, <laughs> this is 2.4 million. Stop it. Oh, we should buy so, two. Well, that's, yeah, we may as well have one each. <laughs> His and hers. What mine with the pink rug though. <laughs> so this is uh, 2.4 million. They did let us in the rig. There's a nice lady you just saw there who was cleaning everything down, sanitizing in between each visit. Um, they did ask us to take our shoes off. Um, to be honest, if I bought a rig for 2.4 million, I'd make people take their shoes off as well. It's fancy, very fancy. So we figured out why it's 2.4 million and it's little things. I don't know if you can experience this, but this is the fridge. You can't experience it, it's the sound and the feeling and the weight. It's just, oh, it's, got the... it's amazing. It's amazing, like that, you just have to see it, okay? You take my... Just take my word for it. Imagine you've got solar panels, you're in your $2.4 million rig, and you decide you wanna to go to the middle of the desert or just somewhere completely remote. Fancy a shower? That'll do. Look at this. Look. Right now I just really nerded out. I'm not even sure why you need this, but this is cool. It has like a whole full sound system control rack unit here to control all of your entertainment. I don't know, I'm assuming this is in every one and not just because this is a show model, but this. This has sold me. This is worth the 2.4 million. Right, where's the finance guys? <laughs> where's that finance guy gone? No. Find no. him, there's an RV loan place over there. So you know I just opened the fridge. Yeah, seven times. It says please don't open the appliances in respect of the future owner. I do apologize to the future owner. I did open your fridge a couple of times and reclosed it and I turned the lights on and off. I'm very sorry.
just to confirm, we are not buying a Prevost. 